He said, Nicole, I have to choose between food or living, and in order to live, I need this medication. If anyone could imagine having to choose between eating or a medication that will keep you living from day to day, um, it was a very hard, hard talk with him about that. But in the end, in the end, I did convince him to take some um, donor-sponsored meals. But at the end of the day, he had so much pride; he just couldn't do it. He lasted a week with that way, and he said, "Nicole, I can't do this. Like other people need it, even though he needed it just as much." But it was definitely a pride thing with him. Meals on Wheels is for any person who needs help with meals. It's not just seniors themselves, but our program does dominantly um, focus uh, with the seniors' nutritional needs. We have over 50 volunteers right now in the program and we're always looking for more. We always have people that are taking time off for holidays or maybe they have an upcoming surgery and need some recovery time, but we're always looking for more volunteers. And unfortunately, we can't really expand the program unless we have the drivers in order to do that. So if we don't have drivers, we can't get the meals out. So they are the key part of our program right now. And of course, our kitchen, we're, we're blessed with them here at Brunswick Street. They cater to a lot of uh, dietary needs that a lot of places perhaps wouldn't. So um, they, they have their work cut out for them here with, with 110 clients, all with different requests and needs. And there's about 14 or 15 people on the wait list right now. Unfortunately, a lot of the people on the wait list by the time we contact them have already passed away or have gone into care. That's, that's how long it's taking for any turnover in our program. Once clients are getting into it, nobody's discontinuing. So that's the, that's the catch, right? We need more volunteers to expand the program to make more spots for the clients that are on the wait list.